offices and factories which have been converted into homes. Uh, Labour says this has resulted in rabbit hutch flats and slum housing and will reverse... So they say they will reverse the rules which allow buildings to be converted without the need for planning permission. The party shadow housing secretary is John Healy. He's in our Westminster studio. Morning to you. Thanks very much for, jo uh, for joining us this morning. Um, so it's called permitted development and you're saying today you want to get rid of it. Why? It's a get out clause. It allows developers to dodge any obligation for social housing and it allows them to build sw slum houses really by converting office blocks, warehouses, um, ex-factories and commercial sites into new homes without going through the normal planning permission and we don't need this. Um, we're losing out on important low-cost housing that we need and most important these developers are building really substandard homes. Um, we've had a response, obviously, um, from the local government, and they say that permitted development, along with planning reforms, have delivered over 140,000 homes, homes for families, that would have been blocked by Labour. What's your response? Well, there were 13,500 uh, new homes last year through permitted development, um, but more than 200,000 without permitted development. In truth, we don't need permitted development to build the new homes we need. We built more under Labour without permitted development. And in the end, these are people's homes. And what we build matters just as much as how many. And quality matters just as much as quantity. And this loophole, this get-out clause for big developers, is simply providing the wrong housing and often in the wrong places. Um, if, what, let's talk about the wrong places because some of these, uh, this housing is in what's called dormant buildings and they're in former office blocks. So you're saying they shouldn't be developed? Now, some, some, of these, some of these developments may well go ahead and could be encouraged. It's important if you've got um, disused blocks that you turn them into good homes, but not by circumventing and sidestepping the planning, planning uh, system and the normal consent process. What, what it means is you've got developers now building homes that people are living in without windows, uh, with uh, cooking hobs next to beds. You've got tiny spaces that fall far short of uh, our space standards across the board. And for kids, sometimes you find them without any places to play, without even pavements, where these houses are built, for instance, in the middle of industrial uh, estates. So if the rules were changed, should those buildings still be built in then? They could be still built and it's perfectly possible for a local authority to give top priority to seeing redundant commercial buildings turned into homes uh, as part of their local plan. Our argument and our plan is to close the loophole that allows these developers to do it without reference to planning permission and without the sort of standards that we do need to see because we're building people's new homes. Um, in what you're saying today is you've got ambitious plans um, to build 100,000 new uh, council or social housing properties a year uh, by the end of next part. Parliament. How would that be funded? Yeah, we've set out a, a very detailed plan to build a million new low-cost homes over 10 years of a Labour government. Uh, part of it would be uh, bringing government investment back to the level under the last Labour government. Part of it would be getting more out of commercial developers, changing the incentives in the planning system and also taking some of the profiteering out of the land market. And by a combination of these uh, measures we can build both the number of new homes this country needs, but also the quality and the mix of okay, new homes. Okay, so a million new homes. You've been talking about the problems with so-called dormant buildings, for example, but where would they go? Where would, where would the new homes go? Yeah. There, there's plenty of sites and... Uh, there's plenty of sites and uh, we've seen um, permissions in the system that are not being built out fast enough so we'd bring in uh, tough new measures to make sure that developers where they had permission built at the rate that was needed for the local area but built the mix as well and of course part of the uh, part of the plan and the necessary steps to deal with the land profiteering is to allow you to assemble more low-cost land to build the mix of homes at a lower price both to rent and to buy that people need. Um, just before you um, go, if I could just ask you as well, we know that the talk, there are talks between uh, Labour and the government continuing to try and move forward on Brexit. There are some reports, uh, Theresa May referring to some of your colleagues as being difficult. Um, what's going on here? The, the talks yesterday were just as they were before Easter. 
uh, detailed, long, serious discussions, but we're still waiting for some fly, si real sign of serious intent from the Prime Minister that she's prepared to shift the lines of her deal to get the sort of uh, support in Parliament that can get a better Brexit deal in place. And um, if the so you're if, asking if, her to shift. Where's the Labour Party going to shift? But we're in detailed discussions on all the fronts about how we get a. Uh, a better deal that can command the House of Commons support, get us beyond the Brexit point of Brexit and can be negotiated with the European Union. Um, in the end, if the Prime Minister is concerned about uh, progress uh, she needs and faster progress, then she needs to be more flexible. Uh, John Healy, Shadow Housing Secretary, uh, here in breakfast this morning. Thank you. And we'll be hearing